Hi everyone, it's Esther here. I hope you're doing well. I um, just wanted to quickly take you through my refrigerator, show you some of the groceries that I just bought because I just went to Costco and I also just went to the farmer's market. So my fridge is pretty stocked up right now. So I just want to show you what sorts of things I buy to support my workout routine and make sure I'm eating clean all the time. Even if you don't have a gym routine you're doing or if you're not even exercising right now, it's still good to see because it's just things that will keep you healthy. It's all healthy stuff in there. So um, I will show you what's in there. And then I also have my legs and glutes workout in this video as well coming up right after we look in my refrigerator so stay tuned for that but if you have any questions on any of this on what's in my refrigerator what sorts of things I eat or on the workout just comment below I'll try to answer them for you so let's go see what's in my fridge we are in my freezer so just going to show you so this is actually ribeye steak. I don't eat too much ribeye. This is more of a treat when I just want a little bit of red meat, but I'll eat it maybe once a week or so. Big bag of broccoli. So this comes in handy since it's frozen. Um, when I run out of fresh vegetables, I can always just eat this. Mahi mahi, a good white fish, ground bison, lots of chicken breast, Chilean sea bass. This is good stuff. Oh, my hands are freezing. Organic berries. This is really good for smoothies and stuff like that. Or dark sweet cherries, another good thing for smoothies. It's curry powder, which I hardly ever use, but every once in a while, ground turkey. Oat flour. This is stuff I'll use to bake because I don't eat regular white flours. Unsweetened cocoa. I'll put that in like protein smoothies and stuff like that. Bags and bags of these chia seeds. I need to use them more. Okay, that was the freezer. So now we're in the refrigerator. I have egg whites, diet iced tea. I don't really drink this too much. It's more for my husband. Got water, lots of water. I drink coffee. These are my still cut oats. I get them from Costco. I also have these still cut oats. Um, I don't eat them as much. I like these better. This is broccoli that I made. See asparagus. Good stuff leftovers, onions, <laughs> these are um, Kirkland eggs, you can see I'm almost out of this one, I went ahead and bought another one already, this is leftover pizza, so it's pretty much a staple cheat meal in my household, so usually when I eat a cheat meal, um, it's on the weekends and I have pizza and wing night pretty frequently for a cheat meal. That's what that is. And this is just a container of protein powder. I have protein powder kind of like all over the place. And this I bought at the farmer's market today. So I got some eggplant, zucchini, bell pepper, I got red and green, cilantro, I also got some kale and they don't put the kale in bags here when you go to the farmer's market so I just put it all down here. I'll probably move it into my own bag shortly. Bacon crumbles, that's more for my husband and for me, same here. I don't really eat this. This is something my husband eats but it's a pretty good, um, you know, low calorie snack. Zero sugar, six grams of protein, zero carbs. Sugar-free maple syrup. I only use this every once in a while when I'm making protein pancakes. Sriracha sauce. I have two kinds of salsa. I have this green chili salsa. And then I have this red salsa, organic salsa, medium from Costco. This is organic butter. Garlic. 
pickles. I hardly ever eat this. Sugar-free strawberry preserves. I was on this kick in um, Kona. I would put it on my protein pancakes also. And then the rest I think is just like vitamins and stuff. I'm gonna go through all that. And then for spices, I have Himalayan pink salt. So I have lemon pepper, seasoning, peppercorn garlic. Lots of hot sauce. I don't really eat the honey anymore, but it's there. I am a big lemon pepper fan. I like to put this on everything, pretty much. I even have another container of it. Fats. So I mainly use coconut oil on most of my stuff, but occasionally I'll use this if I need to just spray a pan and sesame oil if I want like an Asian flavor. Sometimes I'll put it on my eggs and stuff. Extra virgin olive oil. I use that a lot as well. Okay, so I'm starting this workout with back squats, four to five sets, varying weight. So I actually titrated the weight up with each set. You want to get pretty exhausted with um, the squats because we're not going to be using heavy weights on some of the other exercises in this workout. Reason being, I wanted to focus on mind-muscle connection and really firing off the glutes in this workout. And we're going to be doing a lot of supersets such as this one. So make sure on this exercise that you're really, really focusing on squeezing the glutes. And after you finish your 10 reps on each leg, you wanna go right into the jump lunges. That's the whole point of a superset is to go right into it with no rest. That no rest makes all the difference. And here's another really great superset to target your glutes. So I'm doing the goblet squats, and I don't know if you can see that, but I'm holding a dumbbell up in front of me there. And again, right after you perform these goblet squats, you don't wanna rest, you just wanna go straight into the next exercise, which is gonna be the bench hops. And the last exercise I'm performing on the abductor machine, usually you would perform it sitting down and that targets the outer thighs, but if you stand up like I am here, it'll target the glutes as well. And that's it for this workout. Thank you guys so much for watching. Connect with me on Instagram at no excuse girl for motivation as well as my progress. And to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye everyone.